Meow, said the cow, by Emma Dodd. Early one morning, cat was sleeping, dreaming of hunting, stalking, and leaping, when all of a sudden, out of the blue, cock-a-doodle-doo. This farm is too noisy, yawned the cat. Something needs to be done about that. Cat thought for a while and came up with a trick, for he loved casting spells and doing magic. When the sun rose next morning, all pink and red, Rooster, as usual, threw back his head. He puffed out his chest and he opened his beak. And out came the tiniest squeak, 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 squeak. Aha, thought the cat with a sly little smirk. It seems that my spells are beginning to work. Pig woke next and started yawning, wanting his food as he did every morning. He stretched his legs and rolled in the muck, then greedily grunted, cluck, cluck, cluck. The hens got up and peered round. Who was making that clucking sound? It seemed to be coming from the sty. Oink, 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 they cried in reply. Out in the field was more mischief from Cat. The sheep were all barking, running this way and that. Sheepdog was muddled. It seemed so bizarre. His woof had gone missing. He could only say, bah. Meow, said the cow. Meow, meow. What has that cat been up to now? The horse was quacking, the ducks were neighing. Nobody knew quite what they were saying. Cat's clever plan had got out of hand. The animals were louder than a big brass band. So he crept away for a tasty snack, a mouse or two from the old haystack. By now the animals all could tell that Cat was behind this beastly spell. They were all feeling a little bit cross. It's time to show that cat who's boss. Suddenly there was a deafening moo. Cat was in trouble, that much he knew. All of the animals, small and big, the mice, the hens, the clucking pig, the sheep and ducks, dog, cow and horse, the squeaking rooster too, of course, Chase that cat right through the barn, across the yard, and out of the farm. Woof, ba, moo, cluck, squeak, meow. Give us back our voices now. What a noise they made, a cacophony, as they chased the cat up the apple tree. There really was an awful din. Okay, said cat, you win, you win. But you must admit, it has been fun. With a flick of his tail, the spell was undone. All that is, except for one. Now every morning, it's Cat instead, who opens his mouth and throws back his head. Cock-a-doodle-doo! Well, laughed the animals, that will teach you.